into the Royal Artillery Barracks then. The London Port of Woolwich has long had a military history. Construction of the current barracks buildings began in 1776. Quite a field as well, some very, very strong competitors. Well, here we go, this athlete's one of the favourites in this competition. Well, I think this athlete understands just how important this is. Look at the emotion. Here we go, hopes high then, as the first round of the men's 25-metre rapid fire is ready to go. Oh, yeah, he likes that. Well, let's take a check on the scoreboard, and there's good news, lying in first place. Next, yeah, it's from Sweden. Round two, then. Attention. That pleases the crowd. And how does that impact on the scoreboard after two rounds? Next, yeah, it's from Sweden. Next up, round three. Okay. Six seconds. Well, that's excellent. A great A performance. So at the halfway mark, second place for this athlete. It's a very good place to be in, threatening the leader at this stage. We're representing Sweden. Round four, four seconds, five targets. This is where the pressure mounts. Well, that's a good round, and there's no doubt now that this competitor can have the confidence that they can keep up with the leaders here. This is where the pressure cranks up again, the round tension. five, four seconds. Middle of the road stuff in round number five, nowhere near his best. That was an average performance. Next up, Hector representing Sweden. Well, this is the ultimate pressure. Attention. Well, that's a good performance. Well, that's what all the hard work's for. Look at the reaction of this athlete. A really good performance to finish in the medals. Here's the replay. for Great Britain, great success for this athlete, really has made the London 2012 games their own, super super performance, second place for Sweden, that's a silver medal, and Team USA take the final place on the podium, that's third, and a bronze medal well, a chance to take a look at the latest tally of medals second place to Lord's Cricket Ground. For many years this has been the scene of some great Ashes success for both England and Australia. But now a chance for somebody to win a medal in the Olympic archery. The Olympic Games always has a habit of making superstars. And there's no reason why this athlete can't be the story of this Games. Well, she says all the training has gone right going into this event. And she's in great shape. First arrow. Bang on. Ten. Arrow number two then.
seven more to the total. Arrow number three. Good arrow, seven points. Here's the replay. Let's have a look at the current scoreboard then after the first round. Next up, Hector representing Sweden. Looking for a good fourth arrow in this competition. Well, in the black, in business it's a good thing, but not in archery. Arrow number two. Just missed the blue. Four points. This is the final arrow before the midway point in this competition. Here's the replay of that. That was all right. Can do much better though, and that scoreboard underlines it. Middle of the pack. Next up, Hector representing Sweden. Arrow number one. Oh. Elsewhere in the world, being in the black's a good thing, but not in archery. Four points. Really good. Nine. This is the third arrow. The outer red, that's seven points. Here's the replay. Well, the scoreboard doesn't lie, and sitting in fifth place after that round is what this athlete's looking at. Next, the from Sweden. With only three arrows remaining, none of the athletes can afford to slip up here. Eight. You can add eight for that. Two arrows to go. Tiny adjustment required. This is the final arrow. And this really is a sport where millimeters count. Here's the replay. Well, it's always disappointing to miss out on the top three and the chance of a medal. And that's etched all over the face of this athlete right now. Well, one final check on the leaderboard and confirmation, South Korea finished with a goal. Not quite goal for China on this occasion, but a good performance and a silver medal. Good performance from Italy, third place and a bronze medal. Time now to take a quick look at the medal table. of preparations since Beijing and these athletes now must be ready any injuries any doubts must be shoved clear from their mind every Olympics has a superstar and there's every chance that this athlete could be the face of London 2012 but there's no reason why this athlete isn't considering themselves one of the real medal contenders here well, she looks like she's loving being a part of the Olympic Games, and quite rightly so. Woo! Has a piece of that. Now for the double. Pull! Well, that's a big confidence booster. Two hits. Well, let's have another look at the scoreboard and third place after the latest round. That's a good performance. Pull! Just catches the skeet there. Next up, it's the double. High house first. Shooting. 
technique absolutely perfect. Three hits. Let's take another look at the scoreboard then. Next, next. Yeah, yeah. From Long Sweden. Well, it was contact there. Certainly got a piece of that one. Now for the double. Pull. Well, taking the birds out like they're going out of fashion. Three hits. Excellent stuff. What a performance. Next up, Dr. representing Sweden. Clip that one and earns a round of applause. Well, station number four asks a lot of the shooters. First a high single, then a low single, followed by a double, and finally a reverse double. Six on offer then. Well, I think the pressure's telling here. We're looking for the double on station four. Bags the brace. This is the double. Ooh. Well, that's brilliant. Good execution. Four hits. Well, that's the end of the round. And this is the reality of the situation. A magnificent performance and a huge, huge lead. Next, next. Yeah, yeah. From, from Sweden. Sweden. Bit previous with that shot. Looking for the double. Pull. Lower house first. This is station five. Well, that's two more. Bang in a brace. Two hits. Locked in, loaded, and ready. Good shooting. Next up, Nutcaster representing Sweden. Clips the target, that will be a point. This is the double. Pull. Very impressive stuff, that. Two hits. Six stations down. Here's the scoreboard. Next, next. Yeah, yeah. From Long Sweden. Looking for two, and they're both there. Two hits. So focused in this performance. Next up, well, what will that last station have done to the scoreboard? Pull. Thunders the first one. Last station. Pull. That's one. Good shooting. Two hits. Collecting targets with that round. A really good performance. World class. Olympic class. It's gold. And finishing in third position with a bronze, it's China. Let's take a quick check on the overall medal tally. Well, that just about concludes things for the day. The final event of that session from Seth Bennett. We'll see you next time.